writing disorder is called dysgraphia. It is a disorder of written expression. Dysgraphia is displayed when a student struggles with forming letters, spacing letters, and spelling. Focusing on increasing the fine motor strength is one strategy for remedying dysgraphia. Parents can Parents and teachers can build sensory bins where students use their fine motor skills to dig out toys from underneath the sand with tweezers or gripping toys. Parents can work on strengthening fine motor skills by practicing scissor with scissors and kneading Play-Doh. Um, two reading disorders are dyslexia, sorry, and a deficit in processing and speed. Dyslexia is defined as a learning disorder that originates neurologi neurologically. The characteristics of dyslexia are poor spelling accuracy, word recognition, and decoding skills. The difficulties derive from a deficit in phonology in language. One of the signs a student has dyslexia is trouble with spelling, reading, and writing. In Arizona, a student in the third grade with a low reading score on the state test may not be promoted, and teachers are expected to intervene with interventions. Um, one of the strategies that teachers can use to help with dyslexia is the high frequency words for spelling activities by cutting the words into syllables. Uh, the Orton-Gillingham approach has been around for over 70 years and its principles have been tested, researched, and validated with positive results over and over again. The OG approach exercise customizes language learning to the needs of the individual um, parents can read to their child and write down high frequency words and have the students write them down as well. Parents, uh, parents can ha uh, use the resources online such as Teacher Monster to Read. It focuses on phonemes and phonology. Um, the second reading disorder or disability, my apologies, is the deficit in orthographic processing and speed. It is also called the naming or fluency problem. The deficit is when a student struggles um, with reading or display anxiety and distractibility. One of the strategies an uh, educator can assist a student with this disorder is using two pages, one for the child and one for the educator. Uh, they write identical rows of letters across the page, timing the child for one minute while they read the names of the letters to you. They mark, then the educator will mark each sound uh, that is correct on the educator's copy and date the page, put the total correct, and then continue to do this practice once a month or such. Um, one of the online resources that I personally like for this activity is Spelling City. It's a game that um, focuses on each phoneme and then reading the total word. Um, thank you for listening.